Hello and welcome. In this tutorial video we will be going through the process of setting search parameters for equipment reports so that you can filter the list of reports shown in the list view on the equipment reports form. The search parameters can be found on the search tab, that's tab 6 on the top bar within the equipment reports form. Here you can see that the search parameter controls, or filter controls for short, are organised in order of how you would fill out a new equipment report starting with the author, then the equipment path, then the report type, etc, etc. Working in order, I will go over some of the basic concepts early on in this video, and then I'll move through the rest of the controls relatively quickly. Let's start with the log number control. Here you type in the number of the equipment report that you want to view, in our case 24944. Like all other controls in this form, it does not accept wildcards such as ampersands or asterisks. Once we've typed in the log number we want, we press the search now button and then we'll be taken to the list view showing that page. We can remove the filter from the list view by clicking the show all button at the top of the list view as shown here. We return to the search page by clicking the search option on the tabs at the top of the screen once again. To clear the filter controls, we click the reset button at the top right of the search page. The author drop down control allows you to select reports written by a specific person. Let's select my name, Craig Moore. The next control, the equipment path control is filled in by clicking the control button to the right of the text box and then selecting the equipment from the tree structure. I'm going to select line 5 filler. When you've found the item of equipment that you want to search by click the search now button and you will search for all equipment attached to that path or anything underneath it in the tree. As you can see here, I have now selected an author from the drop down list and an item of equipment. You can mix and match filter criteria like this so that when I click the search now button, we will be searching for all reports written by Craig Moore while working on Line 5 filler. And you can see here there are four records. Returning to the search parameter page, we will ignore the group and zone controls as they are deprecated. We can filter by report type so that we only view electrical jobs for instance and then we can filter by report subtype. The report subtype box is only populated after we have selected a report type. As you can see here the list is empty when there is no report type selected. We then move on to the date control which is the control that causes the most confusion. When you open the drop down control you can see there are four options available. Equals, Between, Less Than and Greater Than. You use these to search for equipment reports in certain ranges. By selecting one of the four options you can filter the list view to report, show reports that equal a certain date, are written between two different dates, reports that were written before a certain date and reports that were written after a certain date. As an example if you wanted to select all reports since the start of 2012 then you would want to search for all reports where the date was greater than 1st January 2012. So to do this we select greater than from the drop down and we see a single date box appear to the right of it. We can now use the calendar control to set a date of January the 1st. We click OK and the date is filled in here. When we hit the search now we will see all reports since the 1st of January 2012. The CCP list refers to critical control points and is used primarily by the quality control department to find reports written for equipment that is considered critical control points such as fillers and blenders. The authors department field allows you to filter to reports written by individual departments. 
This allows managers to view reports from teams under their area of control. Full text search boxes allow you to search for text within a report. There are three controls that search by the report title, the report body or details section and the equipment path. Again, these controls do not accept wildcards but do allow you to search for a specific word such as Dan Foss or Pinion. Problem and equipment report fields refer to the content of the report itself which includes the text the author would have typed in. The equipment path field lets you search for reports by the name of the equipment path. This means that you can search for all jobs on a machine type by typing in the word filler or packer. The Hermes administration team sticks to very very clear and strict guidelines when naming equipment so that this sort of search is possible. Here we can see that by typing in filler into the equipment path full text search we have filtered the list view to show all jobs that were completed on fillers or filler related equipment. The follow up search criteria allows you to search the details of the follow ups that can be added after the end of an equipment report. The follow-ups drop-down allows you to filter by status so that you can see outstanding reports or ones that have been completed, etc. The two Maximo controls and order status refer to any Maximo order details that may have been entered into the report. The estimated complete date control works in the same way that the attendance downtime control works for the main body of report. We saw that earlier. The same is also true of the next review date search box. The assign to drop down allows you to filter by who is responsible for completing the follow up. This can be really useful for finding out what follow ups you personally have to complete by entering your own name into the assigned to drop down box and then selecting follow up raised and not complete from the follow ups drop down. As an example I'll apply this to myself, assign to Craig Moore, follow ups, follow ups raised, not complete. Search now. As you can see, I've got three outstanding. The RCA drop down control allows you to search for equipment reports based on whether or not there are root cause analysis investigations attached to them and their status if there are any. RCAs are a complete topic on their own, are outside of the scope of this video and I will go no further into them. Finally there is the advanced box. This allows you to enter a query in raw SQL, that's structured query language. Any acceptable where clause may be entered into this box but requires knowledge of the field names. The purpose of this field is so that you, if you need a more specific query result your Hermes administrator can create an SQL query for you, email it to you, and then you can copy from the email and paste into this control. Any query must be SQL 92 compliant. Well, that is the entire search page and covers all of the main controls. I hope that this has been useful for you, but as always, if you have any further questions, either refer to our other video tutorials or contact your local support representative.